In 2002, the U.S. President and Congress directed a branch of the federal government called the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases to increase its research into development of safe and effective measures to protect the public. National leaders acknowledged there was a need for new and better vaccines and drugs to prevent or cure infectious diseases. In response to this public health research directive, Congress authorized $66.5 million for construction of a biosafety laboratory and related infrastructure. The Rocky Mountain Laboratories in Hamilton, Montana was chosen as the site for this facility. That new laboratory, known as the Integrated Research Facility, opened in spring 2008. Join us now for a tour and commentary of the IRF and its special features. An important aspect of any kind of biomedical research is that the staff that works in the facility has very, very good interactions among themselves. And so this facility was designed with a very, very collegial-like two-story open space. This is a wonderful location where not only the scientists, but the administrators, the secretaries, the animal care staff, and the maintenance staff can come together and sit down, talk, have a cup of coffee, and discuss the work. The Rocky Mountain Laboratories had a critical mass of talented scientists who were in the same place, interacting with each other, and fully capable of studying everything from the basic science to the ultimate applied development of countermeasures. So it was the perfect match of having what you need in any endeavor. You have to have a critical mass of people who are talented, who are interested, and can interact with each other, and that's exactly what goes on at the Rocky Mountain Labs. Biosafety level four laboratory environments are extremely inconvenient to work in because of having to work in the positive pressure suits and the level of concentration that's required to work in there. So as a result, many of the studies which are done are done on components of biosafety level four agents which have been inactivated and taken out of the biosafety level four lab. Then they can be safely worked on at biosafety level two. And the biosafety level two laboratories in the integrated research facility have been designed extremely well. It's a relatively new open concept where the laboratories of one investigator are really contiguous with the laboratories of another investigator, which promotes uh, collaboration and interaction between the different research groups. This concept has become extremely important in biomedical research over the last 10 years or so. We were very, very fortunate to recruit Dr. Heinz Feldman to come and work at Rocky Mountain Laboratories to be the chief scientist for our biosafety level four laboratories and be the laboratory chief of the laboratory of virology. Dr. Feldman is easily recognized as one of the foremost investigators and one of the foremost world's authorities on diseases requiring maximum containment. As chief of the laboratory of virology, Dr. Feldman oversees a group of scientists who are trying to contribute new discoveries to improve global public health. Those discoveries could be new diagnostic tests, therapeutic treatments, or vaccines that work against an array of emerging infectious diseases, such as Ebola, Marburg, and Lassa fever viruses. Many of these diseases occur in parts of Africa, Asia, and the Middle East, where there is limited access to health care. And for many of the microbes being studied in the IRF, there are no medicines to help people recover and no vaccines to prevent infection and sickness. I think the most rewarding thing for us as researchers is if we could really contribute to uh, something that actually would be applied in public health response or biodefense response. I think that is the most rewarding thing usually we don't see that during our careers. The types of research that will be done in this new facility are actually quite exciting scientifically and very important to the public health. These new facilities have really provided us a wonderful opportunity to make sure that we are at the top of our research capacity and be able to be responsive in the event of an emerging infectious disease or if someone deliberately tries to introduce a very dangerous agent into the public domain. 
We're applying the basic concepts here of research to understand how viruses cause disease and why they are so virulent. Using animal models and classical virology combined with modern molecular technology. And I think in that way, I feel IRF is a bit unique. In order to fulfill the NIAID research mission, at times, scientists working in the IRF will wear special positive pressure suits connected to a dedicated air supply. In this way, the scientists are protected from possible exposure to the microbes they are studying. There also are several redundant automated systems in place that assure the research is done safely and in a secure environment. Those automated systems include a constant flow of filtered air entering and leaving both the laboratory and the researcher's suit, heat decontaminated solid and liquid waste leaving the building, and layers of security access challenges. The IRF is a state-of-the-art biocontainment laboratory. So this is as good as this can get. There's no better one. We have redundancy in all the systems and that's one of the key elements in technology. Every system that inactivates material that is then being released from these laboratories is duplicated or even triplicated. In nearly 40 years of biosafety level four research, there has never been an incident that involved a community member, a neighborhood, or the environment outside the laboratory. I think the safety record by itself, the nature of the pathogens, as well as the technology, provides a safe operation for these laboratories. And again, we're not handling anything that is not on this planet anyway. The work in the Biosafety Level 4 laboratory is extremely challenging, both physically and mentally. Training is the most important part but it's not any different from, let's say, a policeman or a firefighter. You know, you put people into dangerous situations and if they train well, they handle those situations very easily and in a very efficient way. And that's the same as these laboratory workers. The suit is heavy. I mean, you feel the suit on your shoulders and if you work long hours with these kind of equipment, it's demanding. Basically everything that you do in a normal laboratory is more complicated if you're in a positive pressure suit. One of the most common questions about the integrated research facility at Rocky Mountain Laboratories is, why Hamilton, Montana? The Rocky Mountain Laboratories already had the basic research infrastructure and personnel in place, and NIAID had a long history of proven leadership. Our historical commitment and performance in the arena of emerging infectious diseases led up to our taking the responsibility of doing a significant amount of work on the basic and applied research for emerging infectious diseases and biodefense. Not only do we have a track record of doing it, but we have been supporting the best and the brightest of people in infectious diseases and microbiology from fundamental basic research to epidemiology, to actually applied research, vaccine development, the development of antimicrobials, antivirals, etc. We feel that we now have the facilities to do the basic science, to do the development of new diagnostics, therapeutics, and vaccines to ensure the public that we are doing our very best to help them be prepared in case of an emergency. Rocky Mountain Laboratories has been doing cutting-edge research on emerging infectious diseases and re-emerging infectious diseases for close to 100 years. And in that regard, the integrated research facility is the next logical step in the direction of responding to infectious disease threats. As we move into the next generation of scientific research, the benefits to the public health, not only in the community, in the state of Montana, and in the United States, but around the world will benefit from the superb research which is going to be done here.